Hey everyone, it is me, TNT, and I'm back with another episode on the TaskCraft server. It is episode 5. Yeah, uh, and today we're starting stuff, things off over at the Villager Breeder. Um, I have quite a few villagers at this point, which is awesome, but we're not actually starting off today um, working on the iron farm, although that's what I want to get done in this episode. Uh, that's not how we're going to start off. Uh, first of all, I did put up sitting around them, cause me and uh, its grand did some dragon fighting off of uh, camera. And we got all the portals opened up, and I have a few elytras and eggs and dragon heads and whatnot now, uh, which is awesome. Uh, but actually, the way I want to start off today's video is making 10 diamonds uh, by transporting two villagers from here all the way to um, awesome, th uh, awesome three. Uh, dude or something like that awesome uh, we're, we're just gonna call him awesome dude um so yeah that's how we're gonna start off today uh if, as you can see i have a lot of rails and i also have a mine uh mine cart with a furnace in it and some coal uh so we're gonna be doing this the way that grin did it where you basically just put a thing of rails and then you put a mine cart with a furnace behind the mine cart with a villager and it just kind of pushes them along uh, it worked out well in his video. Hopefully it'll work out well in mine. <laughs> okay, why am I so good at eyeballing these things, though? Like, I got it so well last episode, and I got it again super well done. Um, except for the fact that, yeah, this kind of goes at, like, a weird thing, but no problem. Anyways, that's awesome. I'm so happy. Every single time I eyeball something, like, perfectly, it brings me such joy. But anyways, let's see how far we can get without actually... Um, like doing any uh, minecart with a furnace in it, just like going off of energy from going down the hill, it actually might get all the way there. Come on. Oh, yeah, perfect. That's awesome. Um, except for the fact that they do that. <laughs> yeah, I can't get him out of that minecart. <laughs> I think I have to kill this poor man. <laughs> I'm so sorry, villager. You know, I really should have recorded that, but we got one in. <laughs> Alright, and then this is our second guy, so we just... Yep, perfect. Yeet! <laughs> and then we jump in ourselves, and they should be right yep, on top of here. Okay, you guys need to get in, like, a boat or something, though. I... What's happening? Oh, shoot. One died. One died? Yeah, one died. But there's also one there. I'm confused. Oh, that was the head from the one that we had to kill. Okay, that makes more sense. Um, hmm, alright. <laughs> well, this guy wants to be an employee over at Hatter's shop. Um, I, one way, in one direct, one way I want to, like, have him fill, like, his dream, fulfill his dreams and, like, you know, work here, but also I kind of need you, bro, so if you just come with me. Alright, so hopefully... This should... Oh, wrong way. Wrong way, buddy. Okay. <sighs> like I was saying, this should hopefully work. So if we just place this down and give it some coal. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. Oh my... Why can I not do this properly? There we go. It should just push them along. That looks good. It's mostly downhill. Honestly, I probably did not need a track. I could have probably done this through the boat. And I did not get most of the track, so I will have to do most of this through boat. Um, which is fine, because it's actually going to go on the ice path. But yeah, these guys are just speeding along. Honestly, they did not need a furnace at all. Oh, nope, maybe they did. <laughs> okay, so my computer is currently exporting a video, so it, this clip might be absolutely horrible. But we have all the rails in. Um, so now we should be able to just push the, uh, villagers right to the correct portal. So then after that, it's just a really short trip to, like, a little hold, uh, holding cell. And then, yeah, that's about it. So we're really close to being done. Okay, it's still exporting. I'm so sorry, guys, if it's, like, totally unbearable, um, to watch this. But we have the first villager, the other villagers over here. So we should just be able to plop that guy. And now we can put him in a boat, in a boat, and then take him to where he needs to hub be hopefully come on come on come on get in the boat get in the boat get 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 in the boat go in the boat in the boat there you go perfect all right we'll leave this guy here and then after we have the other guy in it's like a really short journey to right over here actually this is where they need to be so one here and one there no no you didn't want to go through you have to go through buddy 
go through. Oh shoot. Okay, this is a glitch. Sometimes that happens. They do have a cooldown. Um, but yeah, sometimes it gets messed up and then they just stay here forever. Which is not good. <laughs> Alright, my plan is to leave him here for just a little bit and go AFK and just hope, hope and pray that we can get him to go into that portal. Just one server restart later and he went through the portal, so we're good. Welp, I will lose that minecart because I don't feel like going in there before it despawns, but we got one in. Wait, actually, I can... Here, I can probably just... Yep. Oh, I love Elytras. And then I can just... Yep. Perfect. Alright, they're both in and now we can officially take our pavement, which is awesome. So now we just clean up a little bit and we're good to go. Alright, now let's get started on the iron farm. So there is no actual tutorial for this farm, which kind of sucks, um, but it's not that big of a deal. I have a world download, which is cool, um, and it's actually not that complicated. Mostly, uh, the only thing that's going to be hard is transporting villagers and also getting this pillager. Um, but besides that, like, actually the redstone here is not that hard. Um, it's just basically the same thing repeated over and over again with a few slime blocks. Um, but yeah, once again, it's just this challenge of getting the villagers into this position inside these little chambers. Um, and then also getting the pillager, but that shouldn't be that hard, hopefully. Um, but yeah, let's actually get to building this on Tazcraft server. So now we're just resource gathering, and I have the basic stuff that I can make at my base. Uh, but now I have to go get, like, so many slime blocks, like, so many slime blocks, like, 60 stacks or something crazy like that. Uh, we also have to get string and then beds, too. So I should be able to get that from the shopping district, uh, shopping district, but I don't think I can get slime blocks there. So the thing is, for this farm, I need like 6.75 stacks of slime blocks, um, and I have actually like a decent amount, like close to half. Uh, the problem is I spent so many diamonds at Zix's shop, and I don't want to self-mine these. Um, so I think me and Zix are actually going to team up and just make a slime farm really fast. Hopefully this will be a one-day project. Um, I think this will benefit us a lot in the end. And also, I mean like, you know, it's more fun than just doing it by hand. Yeah, probably should have recorded and said that uh, we found a place to to do this farm. Uh, so it's a 4x4 four four chunk uh, slime area, slime chunk, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, we're basically working together. Zix is lighting all the caves up because there are so many. Um, and then I'm trying to remove as, m as, as much as I can and just kind of uh, get the layout of everything. And then we have to add the skeleton spawners and the minecarts to pick stuff up and magma blocks and whatnot um so yeah it's definitely a project but it's not that long and hey we'll have enough slime for the uh, iron farm and also just when, whenever we need it which is awesome look how many slimes there are though they're so cute oh, i'm so happy though this is so good this is so amazing all right we're on level 12 now which means that we can get diamonds so crossing my fingers here and there we go diamonds a so let's see we got we got 13 diamonds from that which is awesome so this farm has already made me diamonds which is awesome i'm happy so we now have all the layers of the farm so we just now have to do the sides add the iron golems um add the picking up system and then we're done which is a lot but it shouldn't be horrible hopefully but we have tons of slime spawning which is awesome uh, and I have been killing quite a few of them, and we have like another stack of slime, which is awesome. Uh, slime blocks, to be specific. Um, but yeah, we still we still need so many more. <laughs> uh, so now that we actually have these two sides uh, going all the way down to the floor, uh, we just have to add the iron golems and also add um, the pickering, picking up system, which will just be rails with magma blocks on top of them. And then I think that this thing's basically done, so it should be really easy to finish up. But before we actually go and continue working on the slime farm, I do really want to help out Gabriel on flattening out the spawn area because, yeah, it's starting to get crowded yet again. Um, so it's just going to be placing a lot of dirt. We'll, we'll do this for like, I guess, two hours-ish? I don't know, just help him out a little bit, or a lot of it, hopefully. This time up chat, I want to mention three things. Uh, first of all, this time lapse uh, third person thing was created using the uh, replay mod. Highly suggest checking it out. It's a really cool mod. Um, and yeah, that's just like a quick little tip. Uh, second, I want to keep you guys updated what I'm doing in quarantine. Um, basically, I'm super busy, long story short. Um, I'm was kind of not hired, but I was asked to do this editing job 
Um, and I also am trying to keep up with my channel, uh, with school, and I just have a lot going on. So I'm going to do my best not to have quality drop or anything, but just a heads up, you know, if I missed a week of uploading or something, that's why I'll try to keep um, up with YouTube, because it's something I really enjoy doing. Uh, but going off of YouTube, um, I also kind of low-key want to start a second channel. Um, because my sister, if you guys do not know, started a YouTube channel a while ago. Paper Star is linked in the description. Go check her out. Um, and she, you know, she's sewing. She has, like, her face revealed and whatnot. Um, and, you know, she's something in the real world. And I really like making Minecraft videos. It's really fun playing on Minecraft. Uh, but I also kind of want to do something, you know, in the real world where I actually have, like, a video camera doing something. I don't know what I'd do. Hopefully it'd be fun and funny. Uh, but, yeah, that's just something that I've been thinking about doing. So if you want to see that, um... Uh, yeah, I guess just comment down below saying, hey, you should start a second channel because I'd watch that. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for listening. I sure hope that that time lapse worked out because I, I have not made it yet. And it was done with the replay mod, which I don't, I'm not that good at. And I, it has, like, crashed on me before and, like, gone corrupted and whatnot. I, I'm sure it's fine. Um, but yeah, it looks, it's starting to look really good. Um, and Gabriel and, uh, Kermit. Hermit, whatever his name, I'm so sorry, whatever your name is, if you're watching this video, um, <laughs> uh, they've been working for a while, or they were, and it's starting to look pretty good, it, uh, quite a bit of it's done, so, yeah, I might help out a little bit more, but I'm back over at the slime farm, um, because, yeah, I need to finish this thing off so I can start working on the iron farm, <laughs> um, but I think Zix is somewhere around here, and actually I should be going up to the top floor to grab rails because we're going to make that picking up system now. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're up to as of right now. <laughs> and there we go. Thanks to Zix's um, redstone knowledge, we were able to get one side done with a picking up rail system um, that unloads itself when it has items in it when it comes over on this edge, which is awesome. Um, Zix said in his video that basically this very self-explanatory and that he doesn't have to tell people how, like, the rails work, how, like, you know, when it gets there, like, it knows to stop and to drop its items before it goes off again. Yeah, I don't know how to do that, actually. <laughs> um, so I'm happy that he, he is here, so I don't have to look up a tutorial, but now it's time for this side. Wow. Yeah, that system's really, really basic, though. Hmm. Well, but at least now I know how to do it. Oh, and just in case I didn't make it clear, which I definitely did not, uh, yeah, I'm working on putting in the iron golems now while Zix is down there trying to hook it up to the top so that we don't have to come down here every time we want a little bit of slime. And now all the iron golems are placed in on both sides, which is awesome. So we should be getting a bunch of slime balls now, and so we just have to transport them to the very top. And guess what? This whole farm only took two days, which is awesome. Um, so it's only uh, Monday, and I have another two days to work on the iron farm. So I'm hoping, I don't know how hard the iron farm's going to be to make, but I don't think it should be that hard, so I'm hoping I'll be able to get it done this episode. And if we do, that'll be pretty cool. Two farms, one episode. Well, I think it's done. <laughs> so if we go up here and off to the surface, uh, we have hooked up ele uh, water elevators and whatnot, and they should all feed into right here. Um, not the prettiest, but I, me and Zix, well, actually, Zix does care about looks most of the time. Um, but when it comes to farms, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're not picky, so yeah, I'm happy. I'm very, very happy. So I'm gonna AFK here. I don't know exactly where to sit to AFK yet, but we'll figure that out. That is six stacks of slime blocks, so we just need, like, uh, 45-ish more. Uh, 46, yeah. So, 45, no, 45. I can't do math. I'm tired. We just, it's been a, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, but yeah, now we just need to figure out a good place to AFK. But I realized that I actually messed up and that I need two iron golems on each side, which, yeah, not great. <laughs> there we go. Now we have two on both sides, which is exactly what I wanted, so we're good. Well, it took two days, but now I have an infinite amount of slime. And we have enough to go start working on the iron farm, which I'm super excited about. I should probably get another shulker box of slabs before I go, though, because it uses quite a bit. But besides that, everything that we need is either in this shulker box or this shulker box that's just filled with beds. Um, I think 
I hope, except for, like, the stuff needed to break bedrock and whatnot, but besides that, like, we have basically everything to make the main part of the farm. So I was gonna build everything up and then remove the uh, bedrock, because I don't want to do that and I don't have the stuff for it, but... Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not gonna get in here with, like, a bunch of TNT and whatnot with all this stuff around it, so might as well just do it now. So if you guys were wondering, this place, yeah, it's terraformed now, it's all nice and flat. Um, yeah, good, good job, uh, Gabriel, you did amazing on this, so, yeah, you can also see where the river was, because it's technically a different biome, so it just <laughs> goes right through, which I find pretty funny. So I could not record it because my brother was in an online lecture in the same room, um, but we broke the bedrock and I actually broke an extra piece. There's one right up here that I did not have to break, but I ended up breaking it actually on accident, but it helped me out a lot so that I could break uh, the bottom one in the same way I broke the top one because if that block was still there, I would not be able to like, power the piston. It's just a mess. Anyways, we have like it all broken now though, so we're good to start working on the actual farm itself, which is cool. So fun fact, I actually have to remove that piece of bedrock too. <laughs> ah, I love life. Well, I was able to protect everything with just like a few blocks from the TNT blast and we were able to get it out and now we have our gate there. Okay, this looks so good. This looks really, really good. Zix has been over here at the slime farm. Oh, this is so cool. The water stream comes up here. Oh, Zix, you outdid yourself. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, yeah, this is Zix. You're amazing, dude. Look at it. Like, the outside looks really good, too. It's super nice and modern. Oh, my... I love it. Zix, you did so good. Oh, my... Oh, ugh. I love it so- I, I'm in shock. I wish I could build like this. I know it's like a pretty simple modern build, but it's just- the layout looks so good too. I really, really like it. Ah, I need to learn how to build. But anyways, moving past Zix's amazing build and back at the end, uh, yeah, I've made quite a lot of progress. Um, I mostly just listened to a podcast while doing this and forgot to record, like, most of this video. <laughs> um, and yeah, I still have about 17 minutes, but it is the last day of recording. Well, actually, it's already past the last day of recording. I'm just fin finishing up here. I just want to show you guys what I've done. Um, so yeah, basically what happens is when the Iron Golem spawn on the slime blocks, uh, personally, as a player, I get launched up. Uh, but they're a little bit different, uh, Iron Golems are, and they'll actually get pushed downwards. They'll glitch through the block and just, like, get shot downwards, which is really cool. Uh, so yeah, this is the layout. I still have to make one more on this side over here. Um, so right here I have to make one more, and then I also have to, uh, duplicate this on the other side, um, where this redstone line goes. Uh, so yeah, that's where I am right now with the farm. But, yeah, that's actually kind of all I have time for today. Um, I'm sorry, but I have to go. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a really fun one to make. Um, and, yeah, I'm sorry we didn't get to finishing the iron farm. But, hopefully, next episode, this thing will be done. Uh, but, we did make a really good slime farm, which is awesome. Um, and, I'm very happy we finally got that done. Uh, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, like the video. All that jazz. Uh, but before I go, just really want to mention my sponsor just really fast, you know, squeeze them in there, Sticky Piston, go check them out! Sticky Piston is a Minecraft server hosting company that offers amazing and powerful servers for a great price. Sticky Piston also has many different types of servers to choose from, such as vanilla, modded Minecraft, minigame maps, and more. They also have a great and easy way to control your server so you don't have to go through all these different web pages and whatnot. Um, it's also great for be beginners like myself at making your own server. Um, and if you do get confused with anything, uh, their customer support is great and they can help you with almost any problem that you could have. Uh, so there's a link in the description if you want to go check them out. And I highly suggest you should because I'm not, uh, they're not sponsoring me because like, they're like, oh, I want to sponsor you. No, I actually want them to sponsor me because I think, I believe, I really love their product and I think that they're doing a great job with it. Um, so yeah, definitely go check them out. Uh, bye bye